Today we are going to talk about a topic that is near and dear to our hearts, the cell membrane. But in order to be able to talk about this magnificent, powerful structure, we have to talk about a vocabulary word that is extremely important in order for this to work correctly. So we're going to talk about the word homeostasis first. The word homeostasis, it actually comes from a Greek root homeo, which means constant, and stasis, which means stable. So basically this word means stable, remaining the same. It's very, very important for cells to stay in a state of homeostasis, where they're staying stable. And, and not just cells, I mean, your entire human body has to stay in homeostasis. Let me give you a good example. Say you are outside, and it is... 20 degrees Fahrenheit, that's really, really cold. And you are freezing and you're in shorts, which was not a wise uh, wardrobe choice. So what ends up happening is you start to shiver. Now, when you shiver, you don't really think you're doing much except this, this is annoying shaking, but actually, whenever you shiver, your muscles are actually producing energy. They're producing heat for your body, and it actually does uh, raise your body temperature slightly. It helps you regulate your body temperature, but you still often feel cold. Your body definitely would prefer you to move indoors where it is warm. Homeostasis is a way that your body, by using the shivering, can generate heat to try to maintain a stable body temperature of 98.6 degrees Fahrenheit. And of course, when you get really hot, what do you do? You sweat. You sweat and all of the buckets of sweat that you produce helps you cool off. This is a way that your body remains in homeostasis all the time. It's trying to keep a constant temperature. Well, remember how I told you we're going to talk about something near and dear to our hearts? We're going to talk about the cell membrane. The cell membrane is so important for us in order to survive. Every single living cell, all cells, this is one of the very few times in biology where I'm actually going to say all, all living cells have a cell membrane. They don't always have a cell wall. That's a different thing. But they all have a cell membrane. Because you see, the cell membrane is the gatekeeper of everything. It controls what goes in and what goes out. And that might not seem like a big deal. But if you can't control your food coming in and your waste going out, you're going to have some problems. So... The cell membrane controls this, and that's essential for keeping homeostasis. In fact, you know, bacteria, they, bacteria can be a good thing. There's a lot of ways bacteria are beneficial, but they can also be a very bad thing. Well, antibiotics kill bacteria, and one type of way that some antibiotics work is by piercing little holes in the cell membranes of the bacteria. And so what happens when you pierce little holes in the cell membranes of bacteria? Well, they can no longer keep homeostasis and they will die. So homeostasis, extremely important word, cell membrane. Again, all living cells have it. It controls what goes in and out of the cell. And by doing so, it maintains stability. This is the Amoeba Sisters, and again, we're encouraging you to stay curious.